but don't you ever smile? When I spit in the eyes of the gods, then I'll smile. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 dumbest movie remake decisions. Well, that's just great, Nick! That's just great! Come on! For this list, we'll be looking at the worst choices made by directors and studios that ruin some of our favorite movie franchises. Plot details will be discussed, so this is your official spoiler warning. Have any of your favorite movies been ruined by a bad remake decision? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Converting to 3D – Clash of the Titans 3D is a powerful thing. It can elevate a movie to new height or make it look completely ridiculous. The 2010 remake of Clash of the Titans, a film based on the Greek myth Perseus, is definitely the latter. And to think they almost completely avoided the mistake. I created them and they reward my love with defiance. The movie was originally set to premiere without any 3D effects whatsoever. However, upon the success of other 3D blockbusters like Avatar, the studio insisted that the film be converted. Something isn't right. The soldiers. What are they doing? The results were mixed. While the movie did relatively well initially, it didn't take long for fans to realize that the effects were sloppy and that they actually cheapened many key aspects of the film, including the monsters and fight scenes. Oh, this thing is making me feel sick. Number 9. Making the plot more about the kids than the animals. Dumbo. The original Dumbo is like many other Disney classics, a whimsical tale starring talking animals. You're not really afraid of little me, are you? While the original movie had its fair share of dark moments, there was also a ton of comedic relief. In the live action remake, however, the studio decided that they would trek a more realistic route. They replaced all of the supporting animal characters with human ones, including two children. Your mama. She didn't mean to hurt anyone. She was just protecting you. And we think your ears are great. While this might not have been the worst idea, the change ended up impacting the final story, as the plot starts to focus more on the kid's backstory. To add insult to injury, one of the main characters from the original, Timothy Mouse, is reduced to a mere visual gag. In an attempt to do something unique, they instead just lost the charm of the original. Ladies, ladies, it's no laughing matter at all. Oh, she's right, girl. Number 8. Casting Madonna Swept Away Madonna isn't exactly known for her acting chops. If the public's not interested, they don't have to buy. That much was evident in this 2002 remake, wherein a wealthy woman and a poor man are stranded on an island together. The main issues people have with Madonna's performance is that she is unable to eventually make the character likable, something the original did wonderfully. <laughs> This makes it harder for the audience to sympathize with her character, even when unfortunate things happen to her. Bad? In that case, if you don't want to eat it, you probably want to wear it. Now it doesn't look so bad, madam. The director also attempted to shift to a more romantic plot, completely going against the point of the original film. Overall, audiences found that there was nothing that could have saved this unfortunate reboot. E pensate che questo paradiso lo riempiranno di merda, rifiuti e busta di plastica, già perché. Number 7, changing Godzilla's appearance. Godzilla if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Up until this point in the Godzilla franchise, the monster had an easily recognizable and iconic design. While it may not have been the most polished, it was one that fans loved worldwide. So, when Godzilla suddenly emerged looking wildly different in the 1998 reboot, it was met with negative reviews. And there is a slow but steady stream out of the city, as if Long Island or New Jersey were any refuge in this time of crisis. The redesign had completely lost the heart and charm of the original. Even the creators of Godzilla expressed their dislike for the reimagining of the creature, going so far as to imply that it was disrespectful to both the character and the creators. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Number 6. Whitewashing the Characters – Ghost in the Shell This remake of the iconic manga series had the potential to be something great. They use it to suppress your memories. Your shell belongs to them, but not your ghost. Your ghost is yours. The premise of the original movie, a world where humans have the ability to augment themselves, is one that is ripe for exploring and has plenty of potential on its own. However, the studio made the controversial choice to cast Scarlett Johansson as the lead instead of an Asian actress. This led to immediate online backlash, with many people accusing the actress and studio of cultural appropriation. I'm afraid we've both signed our bodies and ghosts away to Section 9. This sunk the movie's reputation before it even came out. By the time it was released, the damage was already done. Despite the remake having impressive visual effects and cinematography, it wasn't enough for audiences to look past the casting. I'm just here to fish. Did you see any? You're a company man, you follow orders. Number 5. Trying to Start the Dark Universe – The Mummy it seems inevitable that the success of Marvel's cinematic universe would inspire other studios to start their own. A few beads, a few broken pots. A man needs more than hard work for this game. He needs flair. He needs luck. 2017's The Mummy was intended to be the first movie in Universal Pictures' Dark Universe, which was to be a series centered around the studio's classic monsters. One thing Universal didn't take into account, though, was that audiences wouldn't have quite the same attachment to these characters as they do to those in the Marvel franchise. Additionally, they poured so much time and money into the branding and put seemingly no effort into the actual movie. One of the trailers didn't even have music. What the hell? What was left was a marketing attempt disguised as a film, and needless to say, the dark universe fell before it even began. You should be here. I followed you! Number 4. Making it PG-13 – Robocop Fans of the Total Recall franchise will tell you that adjusting a movie's rating to appeal to a younger audience just isn't worth it. We well, really know how to pick them. In a movie called RoboCop, what more could one expect besides an intense action film about a robot police officer fighting villains? Drop it! That are alive, you are coming with me. While the original film glorified the violence caused by Robocop, those in charge of the remake had other ideas and decided that the movie would be more accessible if it was given a PG 13 rating. What resulted was a sanitized version of the original character, one that fans just found boring. While Robocop didn't need to be excessively violent, utter lack of it just felt unrealistic. And what if I told you that this could be accomplished without risking the life of one single law enforcement officer? Number 3. Ape Lincoln – Planet of the Apes The ending to the original Planet of the Apes is widely beloved by fans of the franchise and is considered to be very poignant. You maniacs! You blew it up! Ah, oh, damn you! So, naturally, when it came to the reboot, the studio decided to go in the opposite direction. Why stick with what you know works, right? He's lying. Help me, my friend. The result of this unfortunate decision was Ape Lincoln, a version of the Lincoln Memorial where Lincoln is replaced with Thade, the general of the apes. This ending is a complete 180 from the originals, and audiences complained that all of the meaning had been stripped for a throwaway joke. Up until that point, it hadn't been bad per se, but this ending caused audiences to look at the whole movie through a much more critical lens. I can access the database. The ship keeps a visual log. It's away from them to tell their own story. Maybe I can figure out what happened. Number 2. Making the movie too soon after the original, Old Boy. The original Old Boy, a movie about one man's revenge against an organization that kidnapped him, is considered by many to be a perfect movie. <laughs> Besides the stellar technical aspect, fans love that the story was genuinely tense and tragic, with a twist that stunned viewers. So, when it was announced that an American version of the film would be made so soon after the original, fans were skeptical, to say the least. Can anybody hear me on the outside? 
I'm stuck in a motel room. Hello? Unfortunately, that skepticism was warranted. Many felt that the remake lacked heart and tension and was tonally inconsistent. Ultimately, it seemed to hurt the original more than help it. It goes to show that a movie shouldn't be remade simply because it was popular the first time around. Never stop to ask the most fundamental question. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Refilming the movie shot for shot. Psycho. The movie Psycho is one of the most revered horror movies of the last century. They're probably watching me. Well, let them. Let them see what kind of a person I am. I'm not even going to swat that fly. From the complex villain to the instantly recognizable soundtrack, it's completely understandable that this movie would eventually be remade. <laughs> Traditionally, audiences don't appreciate reboots that change essential aspects of the original. So, the director of the 1998 version decided that the best course of action would be to refilm the entire movie almost shot for shot and make little to no changes to the script or soundtrack. What resulted was essentially a worse copy of an already iconic movie, leading people to wonder why it needed to be remade in the first place. And they'll say, why she wouldn't even harm a fly. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.